Now, what is it with people and tattoos these days? I wrote a column for news.com.au during the week complaining about people covering their entire bodies in tats and you should have seen my inbox. I mean, at the, at the risk of sounding like an old man, and I know some of you accuse me of it sometimes, <laughs> I don't get what compels people, like Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker, who was in town recently. It's all over his body and his head as well, which is covered there by a, a beanie, a Post Malone, the rapper next to him, faces covered in tattoos. Don't even get me started on Machine Gun Kelly. I mean, he looks like he's preparing his body to do a minstrel show <laughs> or something. I mean, That's cultural appropriation. Am, 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 am I out of touch here, Joe? I just don't get why you'd want to do that. When you're 75 and your skin's gone papery and wrinkly, and it looks like are you really going to look in the mirror and go, yeah. geez, this looks um, good? Well, this is what I don't understand, that, like... The whole point of tattoos was that only sailors and ex-cons had them. And so it made you kind of, like, cool yep. and, like, straight. And you're like, oh, yeah, he's bad news. <laughs> you know, the kind, of, the kind of guy that daddy didn't want you to go on the motorcycle with. <laughs> and now, of course, everyone's got them, like, and just got them all over. Yeah. It's like, it's just, I feel like... I don't feel cool, that's for sure. But I, I feel like, oh, now I'm the odd one out for not having one. So I just don't <laughs> understand what the point of doing something kind of edgy is if, if everybody's, everybody's doing, doing it. it. It's yes. like a neck tattoo, right? Once yeah. upon a time, you saw a guy with a neck tattoo and you're like, ooh, that guy's bad news. And now you think, ooh, I'm going to get a good latte. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's a good point. <laughs> nice. I, I, I used to hang around... Well, I say that like I was a criminal. I used to hang around the courts because I was a court reporter for a while. Mm. And, we uh, have very when, different lives. When you, when, you, when you see someone walk into the magistrate's court, as I often did, Evelyn, with a facial tattoo, you're like, OK, we got a good one here. And I wrote yeah. that in the column. I said, I said, a facial tattoo it makes me think you're off to court you should have seen the messages i was getting from people <laughs> i'm not a criminal just because i've got tattoos well you look like one well look to be honest like that does it does come from a true place because tats are a code in a lot of gangs and they do actually mean significant things but you know to Jokes aside, I think the reason why people are getting tattoos and the reason why people are doing this is because we're strapped for purpose. We don't have a purpose. Kids are being raised not knowing what to do with their life and, and it's all about identity. They don't know their identity, so they're just striving and trying to do something. And it's really sad. Um, you know, you know, we're made in the in, in the likeness of God and I think that we were made beautiful and we should have our faces clean. So just we should be getting tattoos of Jesus. <laughs> Ten seconds before we get to the break, Liz. Are you going to get a tramp stamp? What do you reckon? Never. I'm a clean skin. I'm a clean skin and I find tattoos really try hard for the very reason that the rest of us have yeah. detailed. It used to be hardcore, so then everyone got it, but now it's now no it's, longer a sign that you're bit, hardcore. It's a bit you just look now. Everyone's got one.